the crazy thing is, is once you've been gone, have you went back? Back to that old relationship. Now, y'all can cut your homegirls off that's been truthful and honest with you since day one because you don't like how she's telling you about your own ass. Hell, y'all can pull a plug out some tampons to allow somebody to hump on you versus cutting that person loose. Some of y'all actually will (laughs) sacrifice a lot of your abundance because that's exactly what you do when you sleep with this person. You transfer energy and this person has the abundance and now you're not understanding why you're depressed in your emotions and can't create or become creative because you have the lack thereof. Now, what's crazy to me is, is that you will go round after round after round after round, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime to just be with this person. Hello, is this thing on? (laughs) That is the lesson of your life, love. To finally cut this mofo off. How many times do we have to constantly keep telling you? Let go of the energy. How many times have you had a reading? People been telling you, oh, that y'all are going to be together. Everything's going to work out. Y'all are going to actually get back together and all stuff is going (laughs) to... And then when you come to a reader like me that's going to keep it all the way weird with you. Then we're telling you, no, love, that is absolutely a lie. Your ancestors don't even want you with this person for real, for real. And maneuvering this person out of your life. But like a clogged sink and the toilet, there's always shit in it. And you guys keep falling down the damn drain with the shit. So, I'm just trying to understand, when are you going to stop falling into love and walking into love? Ooh, that went over some of y'all's heads. Stop falling into love, walk into love, and rise with love.